Honey, I am bronze today. Wow. What bronzer is this? I literally put this all over my face. Mega star, Morphe, I'm bronzy today. Hi guys. Oh my God. Welcome back to my channel. You guys, we're going to go ahead and do an unboxing today. I'm so excited for this one. If you guys are new on my channel, make sure you guys are subscribing to my channel. I always say that because there's always going to be someone new watching. So I am so sorry for everyone that has been viewing the channel and has to hear that all the time. But you guys got to understand the operational side of the YouTube world. It is what it is. But today, you guys, Too Faced is here. You guys know I love Too Face. I actually do do wear a lot of Too Faced. Now, when it comes to like setting sprays um, and things like that, I do love Too Faced. I actually am obsessed with the lip injections. Like that's honestly like my favorite product. Like I literally always use a lip injection. If you guys don't know what lip injections are, you guys can get this um, on Too Faced or it's Sephora. Lip injections are literally the like honestly the best plumping lip products ever. Like I'm telling you, like I've I've used so many, but for some reason when it comes to lip plumping, I feel like Too Faced is the queen of the game. I'm about to put on some right now. I usually put this on as I get ready. So by the time it's like done, my lips are like plump like as if I need any more bigger lips but whatever so a few weeks ago Too Faced they just came out with the new limited addiction um uh, addiction a uh, limited edition uh teddy bear collection so we have the two teddy bear products here so cute I mean this is a very small collection for teddy bear I feel like teddy bear could have been way bigger like I was expecting like massive collection because I mean it's teddy bear like how cute not literally teddy bear but teddy bear like as in like bear like bear skin neutrals cute bronzy like I'm, I'm feeling that I feel like that's the vibe it does say cuddle up with these warm luxurious colors and slip into the sexiest version of yourself with shadows inspired by cuddles from your softest teddy bear the essential shades were formulated to feel smooth and buttery against your skin while they deliver high compact seductive color for your looks that range from barely there are positivity sexy love that I actually think I want to play with this today okay hold on I was gonna go a little like crazy and play with color but I kind of want to play with this today um, they totally sold me on the part when they said warm luxurious and slip into the sexiest version of yourself with shadows inspired by cuddles from your softest teddy bear feels smooth and buttery buttery is good so we're gonna play with that today and then this is the new a limited edition lip injection color um, so this is a long-term lip Lumper. So we do have this really, really pretty uh, gold shade here, uh, but I'm not gonna put this one on today because there's another one that I want to try that I'm like really, really wanting to play with. But um, everything just shifted because I was not gonna do this, but I'm gonna do this today, you guys. We're gonna play with this teddy bear palette today. And then they did just recently send over yesterday the number one lip gloss brand in America just added a new member to, to its squad. I mean, this is this is beautiful. Look at all these shades. So this is the actual PR box, but they have new shades to the family. So inside, I didn't get the full full piece I mean honestly I wouldn't want all of those shades because I would feel bad for not wearing them I actually do see a color here that I really really want to try is this red one it's called infatuated they are power plumping cream liquid lipstick so this is the packaging here you guys packaging is very cute it's almost like a matte kind of feel um, love the color tone this red looks Phenomenal like I really 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 want to play with this red I was gonna do something colorful, but fuck it right I'm gonna do something with that palette why not right so I'm gonna set this red down and then we're gonna go ahead and play with this actually let me go ahead and show you guys the palette right now this is the palette so cute very adorable super small I mean look at the size of my hand actually let's just go ahead and open it inside I'm not gonna even go into it dun, dun, dun. so here we have the shades okay so there are a lot of mixed feelings about these shades I have never seen the smallest shades in my entire life like Oh my god. Okay, so these are so <laughs> these are so tiny. You know what? Here's the thing. I can sit here and read the shit out of this fucking palette, girl. I can let you guys have it on the size of these, but let me tell you something, girl. There's palettes that I have with bigger shadows that I don't even finish, girl. Let me tell you that. So I'm not even bothered by the size of these shades. I'm not even bothered. For me, as an influencer, you guys already know, the way I see it is I don't think 
this is a bad thing. Now, do I love the colors? Yes, I love the colors. I think the colors, I mean, let's just go ahead and swatch this shade. I think I'm gonna put this shade on my eyes today. Look at that shade. Hi, ugly nail underneath. Let's get a little closer and let's get into this eye makeup. I'm very glowy too. Oh my God, I think I put on so much fucking bronzer. Like, you guys, I apologize. I usually would not put this much bronzer on. I'm just gonna get this primer all the way into my brow bone. And I was literally going to do something very like colorful and fun but I think I'll save that for the next video because I don't really feel like wearing a nude lip today and I feel like red and a lot of colors is not the tea today like I'm not even trying to do all that don't you guys get like that when you guys are doing makeup and it's like bitch I want to give so much but I don't think today is the day um and also you guys how are you guys enjoying that video I just posted with the Morphe and all that. I hope you guys, I actually, I got a lot of good comments about it. Um, I'm really happy you guys like me spending more time on product and really talking about it. I love that you guys like that. So please let me know you guys, if you guys really do enjoy tutorials that are just very fully hands-on, then I can definitely do that. Like I can really give that to you. I really wanna start off putting on the frost first. Oh my God, did I just wanna do that? Like, I mean, I know people out there usually put on shimmers first, so I wanna kind of do that. Usually first I would go in darker and pull it out, but today we're gonna, we're gonna do the frost. Let's see. Okay, I'm scared. All right, you guys, here it goes. Okay. Oh, there you go. Okay, so second layer. Second layer is pretty nice. I've actually never just sat here and put on frost first. Let's just put the frost all over. Fuck it, right? Let's just get that fucking frost on there. Okay, I really do like this shade. Like, I'm not mad about it. It's, it's a very, like, you guys know what I call these shades, these champagne colors? I mean, we've seen these everywhere, right? I call them wedding. Like I think of a wedding when I see this. It's like totally what a bride would want. I'm not mad about this little frost moment, you guys. It's kind of giving me like 80s. I'm going to the supermarket. I own like four shades of eyeshadow and I love it and no one can ever change my mind. So I'm just gonna take it and just put it all over my eye. Oh my God, I've never once done this. Okay, I'm gonna dip into the lighter shade now. I'm gonna get this lighter shade on there. Oh my God, look at that. You guys, maybe I should be putting on shimmer first. I am not mad about this. Okay, you guys, so I've been dipping into this lighter shade now and let's just kind of see where it goes. You know what, A plus for the butter because it definitely feels like butter. Okay, so when people put on the shimmer first, what do they do next? Do they just put on the mattes at the end? Ooh, look at that brow highlight, honey. Okay, so I got the two shimmers on and I'm not mad. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna go ahead and dip into these shades. So first, you guys, I went ahead and did this shade and then that shade. Very, very frosty, very, and they're almost similar. One's a little bit more white, one's a little bit more like on that champagne side. So now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna get into this shade here, which is almost like an auburn, which I think I like. Ooh, okay. Oh, wow. You guys, I actually am thinking I'm gonna start putting shimmers. Let's just buff in and just really see that. I feel like this side looks better. So I'm taking that shade again, you guys, just really uh, blending it. Maybe it'd be kind of cute to do like something colorful on the bottom. Okay, I think I'll do that. Now the colors are very blendable, girl. Okay, that's a lot of shimmer. So now I'm gonna take a smaller brush and I'm gonna pick out the darkest, the next darkest shade. So that's kind of like how I do it, you guys. As I pick out, I start to kind of go a little darker and darker and darker. The second shade is in the second matte color and there's one more darker after this. I am actually really in love with this. I mean, you guys know that I love shades in this tone, so I am totally not mad. And I have an idea what I'm gonna do on the bottom. I was gonna do this on the bottom, I was like, that's kind of boring, you know? Let's blow it out, let's get some color in there. As I'm doing these shades, you guys, I'm actually falling more in love with it. I'm already four shades in. Now, the last darkest shade, I'm gonna just pinch right here and just really blend it in. And just really melt that in there. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a step back and just really take a look at where we are. I think we should add a little pink on the bottom, like to really let, like to do it. I think pink and the red will look really pretty. So I, I, I took a smaller brush and I just wanna lastly just take that shade and just really 
clean this, uh, tighten up this crease a little bit. Now, normally my makeup palette, I, right now I would go in a little bit of black and I would smoke out the bottom, but I think we're gonna step out the box a little bit today and do a little P. Louise. Let's add a little bit of this magenta, really pretty bright shade um, to really give it like that extra kick. So taking a brush, you guys, let's go ahead and just dip it in there. Actually, I think we should do white liner and then we should do that. Let's kick it up a notch. A little bit of NYX Cosmetics liner and let's go ahead and just do it in the waterline. You guys know I love a white liner. Ooh, I want a white liner in forever. So once you have, guys have that on, the shade's called Glow Girl. It's a very magenta color, very pretty. If you put pink or put purple on this, it's phenomenal. Like, I love this shade. Now, will it stain your eye? Yes, it will. I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna stain my eye today, but it's okay because I'm not going anywhere tomorrow. Just go ahead and get it. Uh, take your finger and just literally bring it here. Oh, pretty. How's that? So, you want to kind of connect a little bit here. The gold looks really pretty against that. I'm actually happy I picked this color, but when you guys do the underliner, I love to connect it here to kind of blur this out. It does kind of add like a little cat eye moment. Let's go ahead and just do the same thing. We're going to start very slowly because this is a paint. And if you're not clean with this, oh, girl. Good luck. And you can kind of blend it into. P. Louise products are just one of the easiest things to kind of play with you guys because they blend so well and anything you put with it, it just looks amazing. And honestly, you guys, these go such a long way. So if you guys want to purchase these on P. Louise, uh, you guys can use my promo code, Kimura Black 10 It does save you money off at the end. Obviously, I want to set it a little bit. So I pulled out a little, let's see, let's do like a little Jeffree Star. This is the Jawbreaker Mini Palette. Um, I'm going to take this pink to really kind of set it. Now, you guys don't have to set it. Well, I like to kind of set it. And you guys, I usually always do this where it's where it's like when you don't want to wear too much color and you want to like kind of like, okay, I want to wear like a pop of color, but not so much, not like a whole eye that's purple. It's always like easy to wear color if you put brown on the lid, a little gold, a little shimmer, and then you really buff out some color liner because it does give you the, the look of like you're wearing color. You guys get what I'm saying? Okay, so now what we're going to do is that we're going to do some liner. You guys know I love liner, so let's go ahead and do a cute little liner moment i'm gonna do a half liner those are my half liners where it kind of goes and curves into the eye a little bit i am totally in love with this but i think it needs like something more i'm gonna put a little color pop a little shimmer i think it needs like a little shimmer or what if we do like an orange so i have this jeffree star this is the highlight powder that he came out with this year and inside there are three different shades of really pretty highlights. I'm kind of hoping one of these would work. So let's see, let's see if they work. You tap a little bit like right here. Yeah, totally. Uh-huh. Yeah, get into this. Yeah, get into that. How dare you? Oh my God, look at that. Oh, oh my God. I'm like obsessed. I'm so obsessed, I can't stop putting it on. How is that? Blinding. <laughs> Okay, so we love that. Now let's go ahead and dust off everything and then let's go ahead and pluck on some lashes. Now, a lot of you guys are probably wondering why I do a half liner. Now, I do the half liner because I, I, I love liner. Like, I, there's no way I cannot do liner. And this is kind of my way to do, um, I can put on lashes without having such like a full liner look. So I'm just getting these lashes on. I'm gonna let it sit right here. How cute are these? They're almost like sparse and they're a little fluffy. So, oh, actually let me do this first. So let's go ahead and put a little Jeffree Star. This is Fuck Proof Mascara. This is actually a really good mascara. I'm not gonna lie. When it comes to mascara, I don't know what's really great because I don't have lashes. Like I can't sit here and tell you my lashes are so long. Like look at my little lashes. Like what are those? I don't have any lashes. I really love this eye. I'm not really too sure about the highlight, so let me know down in the comments, you guys. Do we love this little highlight moment? All right, you guys, so this is a new Too Faced Lip Injection. This one is called Infatuated. <laughs> I had to look for it, okay. Oh, wow. I can totally, like, feel it really plump. Let me get a little lip liner on there. Oh my God, I can totally feel it, like, plump my lips. <gasps> oh, oh my God. Ooh. Oh, you guys, it is burning. Well, not in a bad way. Wow, I, I can definitely feel the lip. I actually love this lip. Are right, you guys so good with these lashes on? There's a little color on them, but I'm gonna put mascara. Wow, my lip is totally plumping. 
Wow. Okay, so I totally need like a highlight. Like, what am I doing? Okay, so let's go ahead and pull this one out. Let's do a little highlight right here. Cause I'm just so highlighted everywhere. Okay, so get that highlight on. Ooh! Actually, you know what? Let's see the pink highlight. Cause I'm feeling like the pink is like totally it. Last but not least, I think we need some blush. I think we need some like blush or something like to go. Let's go ahead and pull out like a pink. You guys, you all know me very well. This is where it gets like, Kimura is feeling it. Let's just get some of that in there. Last but not least, let's get this blush on. There you go. Sometimes you guys, when you guys are doing like a highlight, you want to blend because sometimes a highlight, especially on me, like I'm, I feel like, I just feel like my bronzer is too dark, a little dark today. So like it's a little off. When it comes to makeup, it's makeup, it's fixable, not the end of the day. So let's do one last but not least highlight right here. And then the last thing I love to do is a little setting spray. You guys, my lip is totally burning. Can you, does it look like it's bigger? Oh, you guys, I'm actually so like excited with this look. All right, guys, be right back. Let me put on a little shirt and a little earring and then show you guys the final look. All right, guys, got the full look on. Oh my God. Okay, so I, till this day, have never ever um, put the way I did shimmer. Like, wow, I'm actually very, I'm like very in love with it. And I have not worn a highlight on my cheeks in a, a year and a half. Like, I mean, uh, during the pandemic, I didn't put no shimmer on. I'm actually so in love with this. Now this lipstick is super kind. I can totally feel my lips kind of tingling. Not, I don't want to say burning, but there's almost like a, like a minty, fresh, kind of feel like it feels it's very comfortable it's not uncomfortable like i can i can literally sit here and like you know put more on and i love it and honey i'm so happy that we chose the pink kind of blush moment teddy bear here's the thing there's pros and cons about this now it was it just wasn't something for me to go like super wow about like it wasn't something like oh my god you know like honestly for a palette the only thing that really bothers me a little bit is that for a palette this big it this is giving me almost like holiday it's giving me almost like this is special edition which by the way it is a special edition but it's almost like it's it's for like a holiday moment it comes with a brush set um and inside it does remind me of like you know when you go walk into like a nordstrom's or like a macy's like an estee lauder kind of feel there is that kind of energy of an estee lauder you know a little baby anastasia like you know that vibe um because i feel like for a teddy bear moment i really really would have loved to see teddy bear like kind of just dark chocolates and kind of more on that soft I guess I don't know where I'm going with that but you guys get what I'm saying that being said pros and cons I mean honestly if you guys are a collector I totally think this is for you I think this is something that people would like to collect to have um, now this lip gloss this lipstick I probably would buy like I think we all need some shades like this I can't wait to play with the shade I'm gonna leave it right here actually Thank you so much for viewing this video. I had so much fun and you guys, I'm so sorry. I'm so bronzed out. I'm not using this <laughs> just quite yet. Other than that, I love you. Please subscribe to my channel and I would love to see you guys again. And other than that, have a great fucking weekend. I will see you guys next week and you guys get ready. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna show you guys. In the studio, I have the new Jaclyn powders now you guys know i love jacqueline hill cosmetics i love her and yeah I'm, I'm so actually so excited she follows me but she sent over the new jacqueline powders i'm gagged because you guys know i'm a fucking loose powder fanatic i can tell you which one sucks and which one doesn't so stay tuned for next week's video because i will be reviewing the jacqueline hill full collection loose powder bitch i peaked a little bit it's fucking stunning so in order to know when that video is going to come out you gotta subscribe. So other than that, I see you guys later. Have a great weekend.